Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to part three of Dying Light 2. Uh, so, last time Hakon took us to the hospital and we got our Fancy Smancy bracelet, our biomarker that lets us know. I, be I believe it just informs you of when you're about to turn and you have to get into the light. That's what I understand it to be so far. I don't know if that's the, the whole case. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe it has something to do with that immunity meter that I saw. I don't really know yet. But now we're able to go through the community and be welcomed. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. And yeah, so we're still looking for our sister and Waltz. And he keeps getting, uh, uh, he keeps getting flashbacks of when him and his sister were in the hospital. Which makes sense because we were just in a hospital as well. <laughs> so anyways guys, thanks so much for being here and thank you guys so much for supporting me and let's get into it. Okay. Let us be on our way. <laughs> Look. Where's it down? Oh, now that I'm showing you, now that I'm showing you, it's gonna work. See, it's not working anymore. Okay, as soon as I show you, it starts working. <laughs> so I swear, I swear I'm not being stupid. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, let's go. You're going to like this. What? Here. You'll need these. Take a look around the city. Old Villador. Plenty of interesting spots to check out. Oh, some binox. Okay. Binoculars, binoculars allow you to discover important open world locations. Hold and press R3. Okay. Watch the reticle on the... Set of the screen closely. It gets smaller to the closer to. Ugh. It gets smaller the closer to a location that can use, that can be discovered. Locations discovered by binoculars are automatically added to your map. Okay. I'm assuming this is one. You see the church. That's where the Howlers were after us. It's the center of the district. Use the binoculars mark. It is marked, isn't it? Huh. How am I supposed to track it now? Is that what it meant? You guys keep telling me to do that. I just did it. Oh, I can place waypoints? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh, to mark the church. I see. You can find notice boards with missing people around the city. One of them is near the church. Maybe somehow you'll find something about your sister there. And if not, just have fun. The world's already ended, right? That's How right. could things get any worse? I'll be back in touch when I've got a handle on things. Okay. You've unlocked the open world zoom level. Okay. Ooh. Even like the open world zoom level on your map, all open world activities you discover using the binoculars during your during your exploration will be visible here. Alright. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but you see in the top left there where the money is? And beside it are, I assume those are the lock picks. Those look like friggin' tampons. Okay, that does not look like a lock pick. <laughs> I guess it could be like a weird shank or something. I don't know. Okay, what am I doing? 
Welcome to Villador. You've unlocked the... You've unlocked the open world of Villador. Your first goal is to visit the survivor's hub, the bazaar. You'll find a merchant, a resting place, and your stash there. Use your binoculars and survey the area to reveal additional locations on the map, like windmills, but activate new safe zones. There are plenty of places like these in the cities waiting for you to discover. What the shit? As you explore the world, watch your compass for encounters. They offer you a chance to help some builder citizens in exchange for XP and various rewards. Look at that guy hanging. Co-op. I don't, I don't have anybody to play with, so... <laughs> Makes no difference to me. You want co-op? Okay. Connect by choosing find games, players. Okay, well. Stop asking me this. I don't want to play multiplayer. Okay. Preach the bazaar and wait for Hakan's call. You received a new weapon. Press to open your inventory. Call for help? Oh, it's probably just... Uh, for co-op. Hold on a second. UV shrooms. Uh, mushrooms that can that have absorbed a huge amount of UV light, they can help save off infection. Okay. going over there so let's no that's not what I meant to do that way Seriously, you can't tell me those don't look like drug addicts that are knotted off. And I can say that because I used to be one, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So those are minutes. Nice. So that little gauge I saw is minutes that I have. Okay. Take down. Gotcha. I just want to see how many times I can get away with this. Night night. yelling about okay so I keep going okay I'm like Whoa, what's going on all right let's get out of here oh look at you wait a minute are you bad who are you <laughs> can you get out of my way get out of my way What'd that chick say? Stop, I give up. I don't know if she's bad or good or. I just want to. Say, oh. Forget about it. Forget about what? Who just said that? Who are these people? Are you good? Bad? What's your deal? You gonna try and hit me with that? Can you guys move out of my way? Whoa. 
Excuse me. Everyone know where the closest safe zone is? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. I just wanted you to get the hell out of my way, man. Uh, where am I going? Oh, over here. This is one hell of a... No, I wouldn't go across that thing. Over there. Once upon a time, people only had bows, arrows, and spears. And they managed to survive. Is that why wheels survive too? Truth be told, there were also herds upon herds of buffalo back then. But wheels survive, right? Sure. But sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up you go. Over there. Oh god, don't fall. Uh... Uh... This way. Ding! Knock, knock! blockade at the center. Out of water. It's not good. Where you going? What a day. Mm. No freaking way I can do it. Five hey, years bro. of learning and all for Ooh, nothing. Easy money. I just How have easy. to get it right this easy time. Enough. Alberto Ooh, needs to see I'm good enough. enough. Basco. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? <laughs> Man, That'd be the you one, were yep. luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the Grand Master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent. But he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because goats. they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. <laughs> yeah, that's a little rough. Stressed goats can give bitter milk. Seriously? Goats get stressed? <laughs> Wouldn't you, if someone electrocuted you and then went for your crotch? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It's only a very small voltage. Won't do more than tickle them. I'm sure. So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. <laughs> nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. As far as I know, what is this floating in front of him? Two places. 
One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. Oh no. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. I have the parts you need? I do? Well, if this is an option. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Okay. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Now here. That was easy. I don't know <laughs> how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. My kids get blunts because of this ridiculous blockade. Okay. Hey, Dan. How's it been, kid? Because it ain't smart city life yet. Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. Okay, that was easy. I talked to one person. So wait a minute, let me see. I want to talk to you. Tree. Jeez. Crosswind can offer blueprints and resources for crafting consumables, weapon mods, and many more. Make sure to check what's in their store. At Craftsman, at Craftmasters, you can upgrade blueprints with certain resources. Infected trophies can be collected from defeated enemies. Look for special infected. Uh, during the night to obtain rare trophies. Obtained airdrops scattered around the city is your best chance to find military tech. Craftsmen can cra craft weapons if you provide a weapon blueprint. These weapons automatically rank, rank up to match your current player rank. Upgrading weapon blueprints increase the number of affixes, mod slots, and durability of the crafted weapon. I have everything you need. Do you? Um, you know what I noticed though? Uh, I believe in the first one we were able to repair the weapons. I don't think I've seen that yet. It, it might come later, but. Right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Upgrade. So. Collect weapon improvements by cleaning classic Summer City. Yes. Oh. A signpost axe. <laughs> oh, sorry. Upgrade blueprints. Probably already just told me that. But um. Oh, one hand and two hand. I see. I see. I see. So I don't have enough money, leather, or blades. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Fire arrows, venom. Apply toxic, okay. And flame. I cannot buy anything right now, so. Another right. satisfied customer. Uh, I just want to see what this guy has. Okay. Merchants tell you to buy uh, crop parts, new weapons, and other items, as well as sell items and unwanted loot you collect. They offer the most powerful weapons, so visit them often to increase your combat strength. You can buy merchants in all the main hubs, as well as inside assigned facilities and settlements. What you got for me? Probably nothing I can afford. No, I can't afford anything right now. Oh, Molotov! Decoy. Okay, okay. Well, I can't, I can't afford anything right now. 
That's fine. Sometimes I wake up at night. Wait, wait, wait. What did that say? I Sell all valuables. As a monk. Then I see the goddamn UV lights. But are these considered valuables? I mean. Miscellaneous. Oh, probably. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's just those. Okay, that's fine. So now, how much money do I have? Firm shoes. Oh. Oh no, those are for sale. Um. Oh, I can put them on then. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What's this? Headgear. Protective glasses and. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet. How much money do I have? <laughs> Is it bad that I want to buy this already? <laughs> Take all my money. See, they have sockets too that I just I I'm. Someone's been stealing. I'm gonna wait for a hot minute. I think. Okay. Such a shame. I met Lucas several times, and for a PK... I gave you money to buy water, and what did you do? Maybe that was his the problem. Alright, let's see. Well, there you go. Let's show it. Um, how far am I going? You could not quite figuring out. Whoa, 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 that's not what I meant to do. I volunteer to do the cleaning. She can wield the axe. Such a princess. Winters in her fingers. If that's Let me go. She can wear gloves. Wired. Are these guys? Okay, <sighs> it straight up says that these guys are our enemies because they're in red. Isn't that what that means? And they're just. They don't attack me. Why did you start making potions? Interesting. My mother worked in a pharmacy. Uh, okay. And you want to follow the footsteps? Hey, buddy. Egg hunting? Egg hunting. Dear listeners, you may find this strange, but to me, oh. this is something very important. 
My daughter, Renata, is getting married in a week. She was supposed to get married over a year ago. She had invited over 200 guests. She was so happy. But then, you know, THV happened. We had to cancel everything. We were hoping that the GRE would get the situation under control, that the restrictions would be loosened over time. But as you can see, it's only gotten worse. Some of the overseas guests we invited, well, they're gone. In the end, we decided to hold the wedding with only those closest to us in attendance. It is very important to Renata and Waldeck that this happens. And for me, it's important to bake a cake for them. It has been a tradition in my family for generations. The mother bakes a wedding cake for her daughter. I'm sorry, this is... If it's... Um, sorry if you want to listen to that. <laughs> All right, talk to me. I can't. Uh, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. Uh, she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Mm -hmm. Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No, no chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can't handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at oh, night, no. when there's less infected in the tunnels. At night? Huh? The shit. I can't. There's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? No, no, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. Get to the station through the metro tunnels. Irritating. What's that squeaking sound? Where am I going? Oh, down there? For second stores? Okay. Dark hollows and forsaken stores are two open world locations that can save valuable loot. During the day they're full 
During the day, they're full of infected, so it's smart to expose them at night for second stores. Provide you with rare craft craft parts that can be used to create weapon mods and other more advanced items. Dark hollows are the best way to find valuables and old world money. Loot them to increase your wealth. Okay. Where was that? Where's this store you speak of? My weapon's broken. Inventory. So... Oh, it's not. Oh, it's almost broken. Okay, it's fine. Just leave it for now. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it just switches the weapon for me. Ah, good, good, good. Does it just get rid of that weapon? Okay, it does. It just gets rid of them completely. Okay, okay. What do we have? I mean, but these are at least okay. Let's go. It's a lock pick. Come on. Shroom. Alright. I only have one. Um, do I have to use it right now? I only have one. That's good, right? Right? <clears throat> oh, up we go. That's an interesting aspect they put into the game that you just can't be in the dark for very long. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, good. Yes, give me. <coughs> yes, 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 yes. Select. So how do I do this? So... Wait, 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 wait. How do I do this? Select. So it's equipped. How do I use it? Shit, 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 shit. Oh no. 
I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. How do I do this? Mushrooms have turned. Hold X to use. There we go. I'm already in the beach. There we go. Base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. <laughs> gonna run for it. I need to get out of here. Good. Oh, lockpick. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Hurry up. Oh, oh God, I'm out. Shit. Come on. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm panicking! Come on, I'm in! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <gasps> Give me them shrooms! Oh, yes, yes. Oh, 
Open, open, open. 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 She's nerve-wracking. And realize this is gonna be like a race to survive, you know? Shut up. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Gimme, 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 gimme. No more. Wait, are you? Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't have any more. Damn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I got. I got to the flare. Barely. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. <laughs> I've already lured the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. There's no more? Oh, look at this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, shit. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> The shit is that? Hakon? The situation here. Hakon? Turn on flashlight. Oh no. Come on. He's coming. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, there is. Alright. Try this again. There we go. There's nothing that I missed around here, right? Probably not. Give me some more of those shrooms, man. Right back. What? 
I'm on the platform. Open the airlock. I'll be there in a second. Oh boy. I mean, I don't know why I didn't realize this was gonna be so intense. There's <laughs> little UV shrooms just sprouting everywhere. That's awesome. I'm just taking a peek around first, because... Sounds like a teddy bear. No. No shrooms for me. Well, that sound brings back memories <laughs> of the first one. You hear that a lot in the first one. All right, let's do this, I guess. This is probably going to be a battle and a half. Let's do it. Damn. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, no. Whoa. That would hurt a lot. <laughs> Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. Uh-oh. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four Please days do ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always said- Lucas is dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridges collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? When was the last time you were out of the city? About 15 years ago. No. Oh. And then there are that many fewer survivors. And that many more infected. Mm -hmm. Stands to reason. Most people endure living in this hellhole because what's out there has got to be so much worse. My wife and I lived in England. I had two sisters, two brothers. Haven't heard from them for 10 years. Wow. Where did they live? In and around London. From what I've been told, London doesn't exist. There may be four settlements left on the entire island. Fucking hell. Why would anyone think I killed your commander? You tried to escape to the central loop four days after the murder. And besides, if I were Carl, I'd hire a stranger to kill Lucas too. It's the cleanest way. Well, I don't know who Carl is. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Carl keeps both hands on the steering wheel. He's a faux sanctimonious prick who's turning the entire bazaar against us, even though we protect them. 
What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. No. Oh. People of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. Yeah. What do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. Huh. And why should I work with you? You attacked me and accused me of murder with no proof whatsoever. Our mistake. You're clearly not the murderer. Why can't you investigate on your own? I hardly know anyone here. That's exactly why you can help me. Nobody will talk to us. To them, we're occupiers. The fact that we clear the streets of the infected and catch criminals, doesn't matter. What matters is that we eat their food and drink their water. But you, you're a pilgrim. There are many ways you can help people. And you're from the outside. They can trust you. They tried to kill me. Nah, look, we are your only chance. If you want to get to the center, that is. So. Will you help me? Uh, yep. I can try. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learn not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Okay. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. Good night and good luck. Combat skill point. Perfect. Uh, my mom just called me in the middle of that cutscene. One second, one second, I just call, call it that. Okay, sorry about that. No, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's see, skill points. So we could choose either a perfect dodge. I thought I already had that. Oh no, perfect block is what I had. Or air kick. Oh, kind of want the air kick. When dropping on enemies from above, nail them with a power kick while in the air. Look down an enemy and hold L1. Or dodge right time to stay your enemy. Press R1. I think I want this one. Yes. Okay. Hello. 
Yeah, hack on. Are you there? Aiden, buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah? I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. You must help us. Otherwise, there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your homes, huh? If everyone is so innocent, then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your brutes away from our homes, Anderson. So you're hiding someone. Time is running out, Carl. I'm not hiding anything, but... Ever think about joining the PKs, Pilgrim? You're a fierce fighter from what I heard. Howdy, citizen. Welcome to Old Villador's PK Command Center. If something pisses out. All right. Hey. So, what did they want from you? If you'd been there like you said you'd be, I'm. Oh, oh. I did my best. I didn't know there was anyone else in the tunnel. Lucas's death is a big deal. They love this motherfucker like a father. Mm. Ato doesn't have Lucas's charisma. He's going to have problems. Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? That's right. I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer. <laughs> An artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for death right now. If anyone in Philidor is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos. Also known as Half-Ass Hubie. <laughs> Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Let's. I thought my flashlight was on already. Okay, so find Hubie. I can. And up we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I just hurt myself. Uh up there, you say. Unlock faction structures. Poppy, make some, uh, some, uh, dope. <laughs> oh, UV shrimps, yes. Yes, please. Just one? No more? Okay. on lookout for those shrooms, man. Those things are a lifesaver. Oh, hey. Just let me go. No. Not bad. No. Oh. 
a dust filter? <laughs> Interesting stuff they have in this one. There's stuff up there. How do I get up there? Peggy sweatpants. Okay. So now those sweatpants, are those just for selling or? Oh no, he just equips automatically. Perfect. What the hell is this? Okay. Activate the one. I see, I see, I see. Grab it! What's going on? Come on, up we go. I don't know you're here. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my... You Hubert? Stamina. No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. <laughs> Got him. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed <laughs> That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. Hey, you Hubert? Who's asking? A customer. I want to buy something. Hey, you're that stranger they wanted to hang, aren't you? Hey, Hubie, you got a special customer. It's that pilgrim from the bazaar. But wait, I just want to buy something. Oh, you're gonna run away on me? So, that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep, apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, sure. What? I, I don't think it's me you're looking for. Hack on. He's running away. Nah. Sounds like Yubi. Oh, wait a second. I see him. Arsenal's running to the northeast. Where's he running to? Come on. Go, 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 go. Faster, Aiden. I'm going. You almost got him. Come on. Huh. 
Oh, it's probably up there. Up we go. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, is that what that little symbol means up there? Um, yeah, he's up there. I'm not being timed, so. Oh well, I can't find it. Maybe it's over here. Is that it? Oh well, I'll figure it out later, I guess. <laughs> detected. Where, where? Oh, it's below me, maybe? Or it's over here? Oh well, I feel like if I leave the zone... Oh my god. I'm... Definitely gonna die if I do this. Oh. The city shall remember you. It was a total fluke that I got that. <laughs> oh, sure. Come here. I just want to talk, man. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. 
About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear! <laughs> I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way! A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. And don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. <laughs> know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. That weapon is way too hot. Why did you run away from me? Because every five minutes, someone's coming after me, man. Mm. Okay, I may have given people a reason to be mad, but I'll make things right. Soon. Eventually. Maybe. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. Love he glove. was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. Yeah, but someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. Client confidentiality. Well, stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. Okay. Hey, hack on. Hubert said someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there the army set up in 23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that overlook them. Okay. Stay in touch, bro. Will do. What's in here? I just want to see what's in here. Nothing? Oh, it goes down. Oh, wow. Well, that's a lot of people. Uh, maybe not right now. Dangerous area. Look at that. Yeah. Maybe not right now. <laughs> a dark zone. Come back at night when infected or out in the streets. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, okay, okay. So where am I going? Right there. OMG. Uh, how do I get down safely? Is there a, uh... But that's okay. We did it. It worked. That way. Jesus Christ, stop. Quarantine zone? Oh yeah, quarantine area. Woo! Container nearby. Where? Oh, oh, oh. 
search you. Oh, a throwing spear? <gasps> oh, I can only throw it at that moment. Okay, okay, okay. I see. But where is this, uh... Oh, it's in here. How do I get in here? Oh, I dropped the spear, huh? Okay, well, good to know, good to know. Um, where am I going? Over there. thing, man. Wait, how do we get up here? Up we go. You guys do your thing, and I will be here. stamina. Ooh, let's go. Should we just do one for one? So we did stamina. Let's go health, I guess. Yep, we'll go one for one. Mural, a lullaby. Just a collectible, I guess. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Plain old girl. Well, you were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert. Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him, and I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. Do you expect me to just hand that brass who's a Watsit over? <laughs> Are you nuts? The Hoosie Whatsit's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. Negotiate. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course I don't even know if I have 500. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to yeah. buy it anyway. That's a, <laughs> quite, a, quite a saving as I got. This 
smartest will survive. Yes, they will. So I think I'm going to end it there. We did a little bit this time, not too, too much. We're searching for the weapon that killed the peacekeeper's boss, the Lazarus. I mean, I hope I get to use these brass knuckles, if I'm being completely honest with you. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I guess we'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, that hack one guy, I'm not, I'm not sure. He seems to be a little sketchy, no? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just me and my trust issues. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it alongside with me, and I hope I see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.